to waterfalls, the beautiful lakes, the peaceful icy cold Patagonia people love to visit. At least until this week. There is nothing soothing about what's happening in Aysen, where thousands are rebelling against what they consider decades of neglect and abuse by the Chilean state. Las decisiones siempre, siempre se han tomado. The decisions are always made far away in the capital and not in the regions where our problems are ignored. We've had enough of being postponed. For days they've been running battles with riot police. The roads going to and from Aysen have been blocked since last week, here by truck drivers. Closer to Port Aysen, another roadblock, this time by taxi drivers, who allow us through because we're journalists. Fuel has run out, and food may too, very soon. But the locals remain steadfast. Our slogan is, your problem is my problem. If the fisherman is in trouble, so is the taxi driver. If there's no hospital, we're all affected. If our children must leave to go to university elsewhere and never return, we're all impacted. Their demands also include a higher minimum wage, because 1,700 kilometers from the capital, everything costs twice as much, including fuel, for which they're demanding a hefty subsidy. It's an unprecedented uprising that has brought together almost every sector of society, from the political left to right, in Chile's most isolated region. If Chile's president is worried, it's with good reason. If he gives in to the demands of this remote region for a bigger piece of the pie from the central government, this movement has the potential to spread from north to south throughout the 4,500 kilometers of Chile. But President Sebastián Piñera cannot afford to dig in his heels either. On Monday, he ceded to demands for more hospitals and doctors. But so far, there's no sign there will be more immediate concessions. And unless there are, these people, who are proving to be as tough as their Patagonian climate, vow to cut Aysen off from the rest of Chile indefinitely. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Puerto Aysen.